While the amount of gerbil color variations is rather formidable, and the color wheel is a bit extensive, there are a few variations that can really catch your attention. Because the most common gerbil color is golden agouti, what many casual lookers would probably just refer to as tan, with a cream underbelly and cream colored legs. However, the visual of a gerbil that differs from this common color can throw some folks for a loop, especially if you have a limited understanding of gerbils as a whole. And hey, that's most folks. In this video, we'll briefly discuss a few color types, four to be exact, and whether or not gerbils actually change colors as they age and mature. It should be noted that in addition to a few different colors, gerbils can also present different color patterns that are the result of genetic changes that have occurred during selective breeding. Spotting and piebald are two common patterns. We'll address another pattern during the latter portion of this video. Before we begin our video journey, we'd like to send a shout out to you. Thank you so much for watching and taking a few minutes out of your day to join us. Much appreciated. Now, let's get started on those beautiful colors. Before we get into some specifics, let's briefly talk about color changes. Do gerbils change colors with age? Yes, some more pronounced than others. Gerbils will often develop a darker coat of fur over time and perhaps a more distinct pattern appearance. The nutmeg gerbil, for example, will start out as almost orange in color and then transform into a deep brown. Think of a gerbil's fur color as baby teeth. What you see early on is not what you'll get later in life. Gerbils will develop their adult color with age, leaving behind the lighter shade of their youth. Another color transition, especially later in life, is a diluted fur appearance. The fur isn't quite as bright as it once was. This is a sign of old age. Nothing to worry about, just a natural process. Color changes are quite subtle. They certainly don't happen overnight, and they're not tremendously stark in nature. You'll never have a gerbil change from white to black or golden to lilac. Just subtle changes that signify a gerbil's transition from youth to adulthood, and then to senior status. Let's kick things off with the blue gerbils, introduced in the United States from Europe. Just over a decade ago, blue gerbils are actually more of a slate blue in color, a touch of blue that is mixed with gray. The blue gerbil is striking in appearance. If you're unfamiliar with gerbils, you could mistake the blue for a rat. With an absence of pattern, the bluish color runs along the back and the sides. A narrow portion of light gray often runs along the underside. A touch of gray can also appear under the nose. Lilac gerbils, like so many unique color productions, are the product of selective breeding. Subdued in color, lilac gerbils are closer to blue with a gray mix, not too much unlike blue gerbils. Their pattern is also similar to the blue. The only key difference is the appearance of a white patch under the jaw area or on the top of the head. When it comes to the beauty scale, the lilac is almost untouchable in terms of appearance. One of the best looking for sure. While many associate the appearance of white fur with albinism, that is not the case with white gerbils. These gerbils are the byproduct of some rather complex genetic changes, rather than a specific genetic mutation designed to strip melanin. White gerbils are pure white, similar to lab mice in color. Colors can vary into a bit of cream or nutmeg. White gerbils can have either red or pink eyes, and black eyes are also a possibility. And speaking of black eyes, how about the black gerbils? Darker blue to be exact. Black with a hint of brown. The color runs along the fur of the back and covers most of the face. Quite complex, the black gerbil also features patches of brown along the ears, nose, and mouth. Black gerbils also have white whiskers. They stand out quite considerably against their dark coat. White patches of color can also appear on the underside and along the jaw and feet. While the black gerbil is far from ebony, it has some flair, with enough subtle color changes to be quite striking in appearance. We'll close things out with variegated gerbils, or variegated color patterns to be more specific. The variegated patterns in a standard run-of-the-mill coat are broken up by small white patches. Think of it as a fractured fur pattern. While often used in botany, variegated also applies to the animal kingdom. Variegated gerbils often have a colored collar, the white will appear around the neck, on the back, and the backside. When you take a black gerbil, for example, and mix a variegated pattern, the result is essentially a Dalmatian effect. While there are many gerbils that have somewhat of a spotted effect, a two-toned appearance, what sets the variegated apart from others is the stunning amount of white. And on that note, that will close the book on the video portion of this information. However, we're just getting started when it comes to the topic at hand. 
If you'd like to know more about gerbils and their colors and patterns, be sure to visit us at gerbilwelfare.com. There you will find a full-length and incredibly detailed article concerning this specific subject matter. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, please click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of the information. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Much appreciated. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.